Hi, it's Alexander Ewald, and today I'll take a look at LoopMix, Audio Modern's new creative loop remixer plugin. LoopMix combines deep control and smart randomization to turn simple loops into never-ending streams of remixes and variations. In this video, I'll walk you through the features and show you how LoopMix works, and then I'll give you some examples how you can use it to make music. LoopMix can host up to six audio loops and then sequence, rearrange and mangle them. To activate a step, I can click it. Now I can simply mix it up by selecting a slice from a different loop for another step. I can change the time division of the sequencer as well as the playback speed of the loops both individually and collectively. When I press the random button, the sequencer will create a random pattern. I can hit it again to create another pattern. Anchor defines which of the six loops the sequencer will focus on when randomizing a sequence. I can leave it at random, this is the dice icon, or I can set it to one of the six loops. If I set it to loop one, now the sequencer will focus on loop one when I randomize the sequence. This will become more obvious when I switch the randomization level to subtle. Now the sequencer will play mostly loop one and once in a while switch to one of the others. When I switch to normal, you can see the sequence becomes more diverse. Still, the focus is clearly on loop one. If I switch to loop two, you can now see the randomization focuses on loop two. And if we set the randomization level to complex, it still has a little bias towards loop two, but it's even more random than on the normal setting. So far we are running the sequencer in monophonic mode, which means it plays only one slice at a time. We can also set it to poly mode, which means multiple slices can be played at the same time. This uh, is, for example, useful when working with stems. I can pitch the loops up and down. With shift, we can move the starting point of the sequencer. And with offset, we can shift the starting point of the sample. Both shift and offset can be changed for each loop individually or for all of them together. That concludes the sequencer. Let's take a look at the effects. The five effects of loop mix are not audio effects, but they alter the way the sample is played back. With rearrange, I can transform the loop by rearranging the slices. So to copy and paste the slice, I simply click it and drag it somewhere else. Like all effects in loop mix, rearrange can also be randomized. I can set a fixed amount of rearranged slices. So if I set this to three, three of them will always be rearranged. I can also set a variable amount with a minimum and maximum. This is set to one to four. So at least one step and a maximum of four steps will be rearranged. The next effect is reverse. Pretty simple. You can use it to reverse a slice. Just click it and that slice is reversed. Density is like a note repeat or retrick which you can use to create stutter-like effects. We can have two, three, four, six or eight repeats. Let's try this on some step. Then 
Then there's volume, pretty much self-explanatory. You can change the volume for each individual step. And with pitch, we can change the tune or pitch of the individual slices. We set a minimum and maximum value as well as a scale. Now it can sound cool with some percussion loops and drum loops, but it doesn't always make sense with beats. There are, however, some cool things we can do with tonal material. I've recorded six loops with Cursus Virior from Noise Engineering. I just played the same tone over and over and changed the fold setting. So I have these six loops. I loaded them into loop mix. I set the sequencer to poly mode, create a random sequence. Now I can randomize the pitch to the Phrygian scale and add some reverb from Big Sky. Not sure if this is how the plugin is intended to be used, but I think it's quite fun. There's also a basic mixer. And there's an individual output for each of the six audio lanes, so I can route them to individual tracks in my DAW. If you are familiar with any of Audio Modern's plugins, you'll know that randomization is not a secondary aspect here, but a central feature. In addition to the three levels of randomization of the sequencer and the individual randomization for each of the effect tabs, we can also randomize everything together with the central random button. I can exclude an audio lane by locking it. Now randomization will have no effect on that lane. I can deactivate pitch and randomize everything else. Now I have two modes of randomization available. Classic mode, which is selected right now, will create a completely new semi-random sequence every time I hit the button. And that sequence will not be related to the sequence before. So every time I hit the button, I get a very different sequence from the one before. When I switch to the other mode, and I call it the other mode because I don't know how it's called, the beta version of the manual that I have doesn't have a name for it yet. But in this second mode, the sequence that will be created will be related to the sequence before. It will be a variation, a remix of it. Different, but kind of same. So this is great to create little variations of a sequence. The button with the lightning strike um, remixes everything temporarily as long as you hold the button. And when we release the button, everything turns back to the state it was before. Infinity mode creates a new random pattern every time the loop repeats. When we use it with the other mode, um, the variations will be more subtle. Disintegration mode thins out a sequence over a definable number of repeats. So if I set this to four repeats and activate disintegration, it will dissolve within four playthroughs. And it's gone. Now, in addition to the manual adjustments and the randomization, there's an interactive element to loop mix via the keyboard. With the lowest octave, I can solo the loops. With the next octave, I can solo the sequencer tracks for the individual loops, so I'll only hear the steps that are active. I can save a pattern that I created to one of the 24 remix keys. Now create a different pattern and save it to the next key. And let's create a third pattern. Now I can trigger the different patterns or remixes with the keys.
When I press generate, Loopmix automatically creates 24 random remixes and assigns them to the remix keys. Let's take a look at some of the cool things you can do with loop mix. As we've seen, one very obvious use is to create semi-random breakbeat patterns, great for break core, uh, and if you add some sequence glitch effects to that, um, things can get really wild. You can combine different stems or tracks from construction kits. Lock one or two essential tracks, like the kick or the bass drum, and randomize the rest. For this example, I took some stems from Native Instruments' Young Phantom expansion. As you can see, I locked down the bass, as well as the drums, and I randomized all the other elements. So now I can create a couple of random sequences and save them to the keys. A very easy way to create a number of variations from a simple loop. Another neat thing we can do is create infinitely varying percussion loops to combine with beats. For this one I took a single percussion loop, a pretty simple one, and the only things I'm randomizing are rearrange, reverse and density. And then I activate infinity, so now the percussion loop is infinitely remixed. It's a rather subtle effect, but when you combine it with the beat, uh, it makes the percussion loop a bit more interesting because there's some random variation going on. Another thing you should try is instead of using traditional drums, trying some field recordings or Foley sounds. Some of the presets showcase that quite well. This is Foley Kit 2. Now keep in mind you can always remix those presets and make them your own. There are also some interesting things we can do with tonal or melodic material. For this example, I combined six different loops from modular creations from Mars made with the Moog Model 15 modular system. Infinity mode is activated, so the loop is being continuously remixed, but I have also set the anchor to track 4, so it's not completely random, there's some predictability. And this balance between surprise and predictability is what makes it pleasing and musical. <laughs> An interesting thing you can do with harmonic material is what Audio Modern call melodic blend in their presets. If you play these loops individually, you'll notice it's always the same chord progression, but played with a different sound. If we now randomize the sequence, reverse, density and volume, but leave the rearrange and pitch alone, the chord progression itself stays intact, but we get variations on the timbre. Again, it's all about finding the right balance between predictability and surprise. I tried something comparable with bass lines. Uh, I took six bass lines from Native Instruments Body Mechanic. They don't have the same melody, but they're all in the same scale. So there's a bit more variation going on than with the chords, but still it sounds like it somehow belongs together.
those are some of the things you can do with LoopMix Audio Modern new Creative Loop plugin. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos about music, tech and production. Thanks for watching and see you soon.